Jets hosting the Sharks, and the Sharks are plus 180 on the money line. The Jets are minus 220. The over-under is six goals. The Sharks getting a goal and a half are minus 130 on the puck line, while the Jets laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 105. The Sharks have lost their last five. The Jets won the last game that they played. Now, before you bet on this game, go to a site like VegasInsider.com and allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place because these are the overnight odds. And then use a site like Covers.com, totally free, and allow you to compare how these teams have done head-to-head, individually, against the spread, and whatever your heart may desire. Now, head-to-head, the home team's on a three-game winning streak, although the road team is 7-3 and three in their last 10. These teams are 5-5 five and five against each other in their last 10. The underdog is 8-2 and two on the money line, and the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is nine and one there have been seven one goal games in their last 10 including three out of the last four games they played against each other the under has hit in their last two games the under is six and four in their last 10 and the under six is five four and one in their last 10 the last game that they played the jets won four to one the game before that the sharks won two to one in overtime the game before that the sharks won three of uh, four to three in regulation and the game before that the sharks won three to two now in their last handful of games overall, the Sharks are 2-8 and eight in their last 10. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10. They got absolutely shellacked by the Capitals, 8-3. So we've had 11 goals, 9 goals, 4 goals, and 7 goals. The Sharks have scored 3-plus goals in 3 out of their last 4. The Canadians were the only game they scored 1 goal. Now for the Jets, they are 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The over is hit in their last three games, although the under is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. So both of these teams right now are trending under. We've had 12, we've had 9, we've had 11, and we've had 4. The Jets have scored 3-plus goals in every one of their last three games, scoring 7 goals and 3 goals in one of those games. So how these teams are playing right now, there's a bunch of offense being scored just in their last 10, maybe not as much. This is a catch-22 for me, but I'm going to take the Jets with the money line. I'm going to take the Sharks getting the goals, and I'm going to go over and say that this is an overtime game, and it's 4-3. to three. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.